Hi Thijs. Hey. <laughs> My name is Daniel Bot, and I'm the chief engineer of Delft Hyperloop 9. Delft Hyperloop is a non-profit student team related to the TU Delft. We dedicate a full year to work on Hyperloop technology. Hyperloop technology combines two main principles, levitation and magnetic propulsion. These two principles together eliminate all the contact we have with infrastructure and thus reducing all of the rolling resistance. This together with operating in a near vacuum environment, so we have no air resistance, means that we create an incredibly energy efficient mode of transportation. And the fun thing of a dream team is that you go through all the stages of product development in one year. So from design to production to testing, and that's very exciting as a chief engineer. This year, we're gonna really try and push the boundaries of what's possible. As the first student team in the world, we wanna demonstrate a full-scale Hyperloop system. This goal comes from the fact that we see problems in the standardization of the Hyperloop infrastructure. By demonstrating our pod at the end of the year, we wanna show that it's not only technologically feasible, but also practical as a future means of transportation. At the end of this year, we will be participating in the largest Hyperloop competition in the world. Here we will demonstrate our pod at the largest track that is currently in Europe. By that time, the pod should be able to achieve full levitation. It should also be able to propel itself forward using magnetic propulsion. This levitation is achieved by using a combination of electromagnets and permanent magnets. The propulsion system is achieved by our in-house developed LSRM motor. Starting levitation in three, so, one. Levitation successful. Yay! If we manage to integrate and produce all the necessary parts, we will be competing for the overall award. We have just finished our detailed design phase, so this means that the design of all major components is finished, and now we're making assembly plans to go into production. This means that we need to make sure that we use all our knowledge, tools, machines uh, in the most efficient way. Hi Thijs. Hey. <laughs> Every department will start producing their parts uh, for their own department, so some parts will be produced first, and they also need to be tested then. So at some point, production and testing will happen in parallel. While putting all the pieces together, we also always need to think of integration. All the parts need to fit next to each other, communicate with each other. So I think it's going to be busy, but it will also be really fun, I think. Yeah, I want to see it in action. And due to our time constraints, the planning is constantly shifting. We must be really flexible as a team. So to give some examples, for the coming weeks, we will have 10 engineers working at a steel construction company, building our test track. We will have engineers working with epoxy or someone spending hours and hours behind the CNC machine, or maybe even a second iteration of a part is needed. It will be hectic, but I think it will also be fun and uh, challenging. Is it working? <laughs> During the production phase, we will see our design finally coming to life. So what you have been looking at for months on a computer screen, you will now see in your hands for the first time. And you will see after countless of hours of simulations on the levitation or motor system, you finally see it in real life. And then, yeah, well, you hope it will work. <laughs> Thank you.